Hi, I'm Celine from Celine Builds Things, and today I'm going to show you how to paint and epoxy your countertops. Here's the before and after. This is the kit I used and everything that comes with it. The first thing you want to do is remove your faucet and clean your countertops with a Brillo pad. No need for sanding, just a light scrub with a Brillo pad and rinse it off really well. After that, you can tape now or you can be a rebel like me and prime it before taping. I always cut in with a brush before going back in with the roller. This is the included primer and base coat that came in the kit. You basically want to cut in with a brush anywhere that you won't be able to reach with the roller. This is my favorite angled brush to use for cutting in and I've linked this and all the other materials you need in the description. Once you're done cutting in, you can start rolling the primer on with the provided roller. The key is to not put the paint on too thick. You'll need several coats to get full coverage, depending on the color of your countertops. I ended up doing three coats but most of the time two coats will be plenty. Don't worry if the first coat looks really bad. The second coat will look a lot better. Say goodbye to the last of the granite. Okay, the first coat is done. Stored my paint stuff in the fridge overnight so I can get right back to work. After it's fully dry, you can go back in to do your second coat. Again, start by cutting in with a brush and go back with the roller. I'm going to do one more coat. Once the base coat is done and fully dry, you're ready to do the marbling. Using the provided painter's brush, lightly paint lines, holding the brush between your fingertips and slightly twisting as you go. Go back over the lines and spritz it with water. When the paint starts to diffuse, you've got enough water and you can go back in with the bigger brush and stipple the paint to get the desired effect. This process is very forgiving. If you don't like what you've done, you can wash it off, wipe it away, and try again. The first time I did this in my other bathroom last year, I went for a really light effect. This time I'm going to go a little more dramatic and make the lines a little bit darker. Paint your line, spritz the water, 
and go back and stipple the paint. Repeat this process until you're happy with the effect. It can be helpful to find a picture of a piece of marble that you want to copy. also want to carry the lines up the backsplash as if it's cut from one piece of stone. Again, you can go as light or as dark as you want. I wanted a little bit more of a dramatic effect this time. Also remember to step back and take a look at it from a few feet away every once in a while. Okay, I think I'm happy with how it looks and we're ready for epoxy. 
are you going to mix the activator into the resin and make sure you scrape the can and get out as much as possible. This is also when you're gonna to want to tape everything off using the plastic drop cloth and painter's tape. Mix the epoxy for three and a half minutes, stirring constantly. Pour the epoxy on the countertop, making sure to get enough on but not too much to flood it. Go back with the foam roller to spread out the epoxy. Don't press too hard, you're just using the sponge to spread it out. You wanna make sure that the epoxy flows over the edge and drips down onto the plastic. Once you've got the countertop covered, go back with a foam brush and paint the epoxy on the backsplash. Again, you want to make sure you get enough so it's flowing over the edge, but is not pooling up on the counter. You can go back in and collect some of the drips and make sure that you have full coverage, especially on the edges. You can pop any bubbles or pick out any lint with a pair of tweezers. Shine a light on the surface to see any low spots, imperfections, or dust. Allow it to cure for 48 hours before using the sink. It fully cures in 14 days, but can be used lightly after 48 hours. Enjoy your new countertop and subscribe for more DIYs.